And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. That's right, Chuck Man. That's right, Sea Dog. It's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. It's Monday, and we're coming off a weekend being separate but together in our hearts. Yeah. Sep to Gev. You're coming off Cleveland, dude. That's right. I was. I was. I want to get uh, right to it. That's why I just like. I was in the uh, the Cleveland. You were in Cleveland, back in Ohio. Big Gare up in the building. Brought the brothers, the family. Yes, everybody came out. I was in Providence. A lot of campers out there. Ryan, his wife, a bunch of people brought some lovely uh, pot. <laughs> You're like trying to find a way around that. People brought lovely, lovely, uh, lovely. We hot. Um, Did Justin smoke with you at all? Nope. Not once? I got high by myself. The whole time. Well, I smoked with Ryan and his wife. Yeah, he didn't smoke with you once. Are you trying to tell me that Justin Silver smoked with you? He took a little, a little <gasps> off, maybe. Yeah, I think so. That son of a bitch. I had to smoke in the bathroom like I was doing heroin. Mother F. Well, we got a motherfucking problem then, because <laughs> I was high and paranoid, but we did buy um, Nerf guns at CVS and did target practice. That's fun. Which I'll tell you this, at 33 years old, it is still a blast to have an earth gun fight in a hotel room. Christine sat with me. Uh, we had to sleep a bunch and uh, organize ourselves because of this crazy press schedule they had. Yeah, well, you flew, me. you left the in bonfire. In between, I'm calling doctors because I'm pretty sure I've... So I, I, I told you I have a rare disease. You have a rare skin disease. Yeah. And what is it? Urticaria pigmentosa. Incurable. Uh, should not kill you, it says. Oh, uh, you're really hanging on to that. Sh- if I know you, you're hanging on to that should. I think it's one of those, like, it's life-threatening if not, like, dealt with in any way. But it's like histamine in the body, like allergic reaction happening always inside my body. So my okay. skin gets, like, uh, red dots. So, like in the grand or scheme, like, like raised? It sort of looks like freckles, yeah. So, it so it's freckles. not raised in, like, it's not like lumps, like chicken pox. No, it's not like lumps. Christine, would you describe that? Freckles, basically? Yeah, it's like red freckles. Do you kiss all of them? Do you go, oh, there's a new one? No, I think I look like a monster. He thinks he looks like a monster. It's like, you just look like you have freckles. And you know what? Sometimes freckles can be cool. But she not- hates freckles. Do you hate freckles? Oh, I hate freckles so much. Why do you hate freckles? I don't know. I'm covered in them anyway. <laughs> Forget the red dot. So it's self hatred. They're not on my face, which seems to be. Thank God. That's what you know. Knock on any kind <laughs> of wood. There's some guy with with freckles listening to this right now. Like, fuck. No, no, no. I have freckles on my face too. I'm saying I don't have the red dots. Oh yeah, they yeah. Seem yeah. to be like my legs, my torso, my arms. But uh, it's driving me bonkers. Well, you're I mean, a hypochondriac, I you're a hypochondriac I, and I've seen hanging out with you more. I'm a hypochondriac mm-hmm. and I watch you and I'm like you're on a different level. You grab onto it. Yeah. Tight. I'm always sure it's pretty much over. But uh yeah, this is like so yeah, it's like UV treatments possibly is what it'll do to okay. get rid of the spots, but like they will come back and I got to take like allergy pills the rest of my life. It's like this fuck man. It's like the right. f- almost 40 thing. You're just like Oh, like there's something now forever. Yeah, but you're gonna ha- you're gonna be able to breathe at all times. All Lost that. in a Roman <laughs> wilderness of pain. But you're just gonna have be able to my head all the time. Yeah, but you're gonna be able to s- smell because of all those allergy drugs. I mean, I take Benadryl before I go to bed, probably the rest of my life now, and like uh, whatever antihistamines they give me. Or you go to therapy for six months and you realize that it's all activated because you're stressing your brain. And then you stop having those. Well, right? very much possible, but I still yeah. have to go. The dots don't go away. No, 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 no. The dots are there. You got the dots. Yeah. No, but I don't know. They might, like, I had alopecia areata, and I had to go in to get rounds of steroid injections. Is that where you lose your hair? Yeah. No, but there is, but I'm saying like, there is absolutely, like. I've used this reference before. There's, a, like, way, there's a way to make your skin look better with the dots, so to make the dots, like, fade or go away. But I'm just saying, her, but, but same with alopecia. She had to go get steroid injections. I can go get the UV treatments you, for that. Did this. you get all jacked when no, you were coming no, back? No, no, it, it was just something to stimulate. Monster. It sucks. <laughs> she had a mustache. She was it, smacking she me like around. She Chris Spielman with long black uh-huh. hair. She just had no neck. I mean, I hit it pretty well, but it was bad, and I had to go get that done, but it did happen because of stress and how. Had I not gotten the steroid injections, it's not to say that my hair yeah. wouldn't have come back on its own. That no, I get that. that I, it up. I'm not I'm saying there might be spots some... on my beard before, but like it does come back in. Look, of course, stress comes and goes. I'm back on Lexapro. 
I'm but, also, uh, but what's McCall? And you're right. You have to go to therapy. But I'm just mean like these things are like very real. It's not. I'm not just like. No, 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 not at all. I'm not saying they're not. Fa- I'm not saying they're not and, real. And, and, I'm and, saying and, they and could de-stressing be. Will not reverse them. They need to be reversed with an, an action taken. That's my point. It's not like saying like. Do you know what I mean? Like your cancer won't go away because you like you know have a better positive outlook on life. I mean, it might help. It could help. But cancer, it, 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 there's it, it, been sure things where cancer changes because people completely change what they're putting into their body. Of, I'm trying to think of a good way to put this. If you can go to therapy to feel better about your scar, it doesn't make your scar go away. That's what I'm saying. Look at View these as scars. I'm saying I have to have, take a physical action to get these like off of my you body. You have to go to the UV treatment because yeah, they yeah, popped yeah. up. But that doesn't But they're making me, wait, making me wait two more weeks, at least more than two weeks, for an appointment with a hematologist. Are they just fucking with bonkers. you? Are they giving know. you DMV treatment? I had to yell. <laughs> like, you know, I had to yell uh, today to get, uh, or be a little firm to get the doctor on the phone today, the dermatologist, you had to because... Put, you had to put your white guy voice on? Yeah, because they, I've Who's now your been, supervisor? <laughs> because everything I've been told so far, which include the words... <laughs> Uh, lifelong disease, incurable, um, you know, skin disease. Uh, hoping it's not something more. If it's if the mast cells or whatever the fuck it is internally are causing a problem, that's what the hematologist is about. Like you know, you hope it's nothing. It, it could be life threatening, but it could be. This has all been told to me by receptionists. They go, yeah, it's pretty bad. That Hold on, me. the doctor's in with another client, but no, it's going to be like freckles. Hold on, Dr. Lamont's office, one second. Yeah, is this the guy with the weird red dots all over your body? Oh, God, I don't know, go get a Sharpie. So look See up. if they connect. Christine's Maybe there's a message. <laughs> Maybe your brain's sending your skin a message that you're not listening. I don't know, if I was you, I'd think cancer. I would die. Do you have a sturdy pipe? Maybe go Google what not tying. Go um, end it in the bathroom. Do you have the pictures up, Christine? You just I had, had them up there. Up. Your face from New Day Cleveland is making me laugh. It's just been in. She is such an angel. She is such an and angel. We'll get, th- but, so we'll get to that in a second. So we'll look at the picture. She also has a very, I mean, minor form of what this can do. Okay. I'm more in the realm of, what do we say, third row right there. I'm more in the realm of this. <laughs> that's great, Tom. Perfect, Lou. Fucking perfect. But um, you see, that's, I'm, I'm, about, what's, I'm about there. That's more about what's happening. One me. time my titty fucked a girl with psoriasis. Huh? She didn't have it in between her boobs. Congrats, bro. Thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, so, it's funny, too. Carl and Isabel have so many, like, allergy skin things they have to deal with, so they're just like, welcome to our world. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling much worse for myself than probably anybody else would or should. It, there's much bigger problems in the world. I mean, look, I'm not a fucking sack of bones with a, you know, curly Q spine. Mm-hmm. And that girl was, you know, enjoying life and doing comedy, you know, hosting for... Uh, you just got new freckles. These are also red dots. Like, you've had things where you have these red dots come up forever. It was just the first time you really got it checked out ever. Because they're coming in more now. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks, but, you know. Do they don't itch or hurt, right? Well, because they kept asking me if they itch. Now they do nothing but itch, but I just itch in general, I guess, more I should say. You feel like the Incredible Hulk? I don't feel like I always I don't feel like, I don't, yeah, I don't feel like I'm scratching them necessarily. I just, now I feel like I itch because I'm like, oh, I guess I'm supposed to be itchy. My brain does all that shit to me. Have you had chicken pox? Oh my God, yeah, I did. These can go so bad, man. But they're not going to. You're all right. You're going to get out of it. You'll be all right, Jay. But Jay, definitely. You, I mean, I told him, especially Christine with Christine will travel. not love me if I'm covered facially in red dots. She said that. True. She said that multiple times. She's tweeted it. She's Instagrammed it. So, yeah. No, I think you're right, Jay. I think you're absolutely right. And you should have that fear. It's totally irrational that your girlfriend would leave you because of a very rare skin disease. <laughs> I'd leave her. Yeah. Well, <laughs> then, in that I'm case, joking. I wouldn't leave her, but I would. all I would think about is like how I wish I could leave her, but I can't because I'm, you can't be the shitty person who leaves your chick because her face is covered in red dots. Awesome. Glad to see if I have any hardships in my life. You'll be right by you my be- side. You better keep that, no, 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 no. You better keep that put them away from fire. <laughs> you keep that puss clear. That's all I'm good. That's where that's the moneymaker right there. Well, then let's stop having sex with all these chicks. <laughs> you can uh you could lose an arm. We'll work it out. Okay. Not your strong hand job arm. 
but if you lose your left arm... Don't you think I could build back up with the other arm? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be a practice dummy for learning hand jobs. Like, what am I, fucking 15? Yeah, but what if she takes to it more naturally? <laughs> what if that was her strong jerk hand the whole time and you didn't know it? And it took no. this accident to unlock you know her master. I would stay with Christine uh, through uh, all that shit. You know, as the in the love that we are in now, for sure. Um, I would say, guys. what's weird about that? <laughs> oh, God. What's weird? Well, about, we are in love. <laughs> what's weird about that is that, like, I think I may have said it on this show, or I've said it on Legion of Skanks, but like, I used to have a real, like, I think it was fat guy syndrome, like a fantasy about being with like a a girl who had a handicap, but she was like pretty, mm, like Paul McCartney's wife who had like one a, leg. One leg wasn't where my fantasy would go. It would okay. be more like she's like blind, or and she just like uh, yeah, like a super hot blind chick or a deaf girl, and I have to learn sign language to help her with things. Yeah, but I don't want to feed a mongoloid. I'm not saying like I want to fuck some just monster from in the somebody basement. that's never had to deal with disability in his life. <laughs> that's wait. almost as bad as I wish I'd had an abortion. <laughs> yeah, like wait, you're trying to say that you would want to do that? You know how inconvenient that would be. Like I want to protect her and like you know you would be so over that within a month. <laughs> totally. After you blew your first load, you'd be like, oh, I gotta walk you downstairs. Where's your cane? Oh, I have, to, I have to go make a sandwiches, or I'm gonna come back with a fucking Jay, Jay, please, Jay, you've you've left me in here for two days. Oh God, oh my God, Jay, did where are you the really... keys? Where are my pants? Where do we live? Jay, I'm sick and tired of having threesomes and the <laughs> and your fucking heart in the room. I'm still, she's Jay. still having threesomes. <laughs> Jay, this I girl's still you, having threesomes. I'm built like a brick shit house. <laughs> I can get I want get. I go into the other room and you're fucking her? <laughs> I swear to God, I hope you get a skin disease. <laughs> Is a hot chick in a wheelchair at the door. Ah, incurable and lifelong, <laughs> possibly deadly. I think this is all going to be fine, and I think Soder's absolutely right. And I know that it's something that's tangible, and it's something that needs to be treated medically, but I think yeah. that you need to figure out how to de-stress yourself on a daily basis. You work your dick off. Fiori goes, have we looked for black mold around our house? Could be skin disease related. Stop it, and Andy. No. You got me on a black mold thing, and it wasn't, it wasn't shit. I'll be honest with you. I work. We spray. We spray the shit uh, out of Tylex, which is basically bleach in our shower every day when we're done the showers. But you have to do that because if you don't, like when we come back from like a weekend, there are like in the grout, like black dots and shit on it, which is mold for sure. But what do you do? It makes New you York stronger. stronger. When did I ever get you on a black mold thing? <laughs> we're up and- in the office. We're up in the office, and I freaked out about it. Okay, but that actually was a caller. He didn't want to go on air, but he was just relaying the message, so I typed it. Oh. I had a friend that was, like, supposed to die because of toxic mold. She she got a settlement and everything. She ended up being fine, but uh, a huge deal. Should we call in a black mold person to check our place for black mold? No, we don't have black mold. You see black mold. It's gross. You know what I think it is, Jay? I think it's toxic mold. mold. Yes, you do. Toxic mold. That's all over my shower. Is it? Why? I don't clean it very often. Well, you should. No, I'm nervous. Because you just said that's mold. It's the mold that builds up when you don't clean it for hey, a little while. Hey, dog. I got it, too. I'm lazy. That could just be hey, mold. First of all, the fact that you mold. say you have mold is no, pretty No, black gross. mold is toxic mold, which is a whole different ballgame than mold. I feel like you guys are being very racist about it's a this thing, mold. And you Bring up black to... mold, Christine. Bring up a picture of it. I want Shut to up, Jay! <laughs> That's black mold. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all over our fucking sh- well, it look, no, Nothing looks like this. No, not like that. Is it weird that it kind of looks like a cool art installation? All of them do? It looks like my body now. It's gr- I grew up Your on the body. beach, so like everybody has mold. You just kind of like don't look the other way and get it fixed when you can. It's Yuck. a beach mold. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up around mold. garbage people. We actually moved into our apartment. My friend who had the toxic mold thing, when we moved into our first apartment in Hermosa Beach, it like had mold in the closet. And we were just like, oh, well, it's thirteen fifty a month. Like We're taking it. Come on over to our Hermosa Beach mold party. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but we're about to have a fucking sick-ass mold party where we just get into your room and we breathe the mold in deep into our lungs. <laughs> mold um, party. Anyway, I've heard that was our weekend. So that long. was our weekend. Me staring at my or not, which is actually the most bizarre thing. Like fucking like actively trying not to look in mirrors when I'm on dread was 
It was freaking. Like you're a vampire. It was insane. Like I, I didn't be- want to look. I didn't want to look up. I was so mad about that phone call. To have a receptionist be like, oh, no, it's just a skin thing. Or it could be something way more serious and your appointment's three weeks from now. I was like, what are you doing to my boyfriend? <laughs> she like, she just- definitely <laughs> did one of those chuckles after she did that. Where she went, no, it's probably way more something serious. <laughs> <laughs> Hang up. Hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up. Actually, the first day we called, it was after hours, so we couldn't get a hold of it. When you call this place, it's because... You're probably dying. Boop. No, because the hematologist, it goes, uh, he goes, you've reached the cancer center of Beth Israel, whatever it was. And I was like, oh, shit. This, this is cancer. <laughs> you have cancer. <laughs> you think you make the, the, the breakup hotline for telling people you have, you have cancer? This is Dr. Uh, Sanjay Ranting, and if you're calling this, you definitely have cancer. It probably... <laughs> yeah, you're, di- you're dying. You're going to die. Nobody wanted to tell you. No one wanted to tell you you are going to die. You probably should get your affairs in order. I also... I keep trying to get it through Jay's head that death's not his problem. Yeah. I'm like, believe me, it'll be... I'm, I'm your like, problem. If you die, she's, I'm like, it's not your just, problem. She just punches you right <laughs> in the face. Pray for death. <laughs> De- Jay, death's not your problem. I am. Wham. <laughs> um, that that's not my problem. Yeah, she says that that's not my problem. It's for everybody else here. I go, I know. But even if I have 15 minutes of horrible problem right before death i don't i'm afraid of that 15 minutes for al- always yeah always it's a horrible way to live even lava death if you just had lava eat your body no not lava death but i'll get in the spirals of definitely like the well you know locked in a room while someone's shooting a nail gun into your legs or something oh like that's that. fun i go way i go way darker but more realistic like when i'm withering withering oh, my, away my, of my, bone my, cancer and then everyone has to treat me like i still look healthy when they do this they go hey yeah no, and my, i'm all skinny and i'm like Hey, mine's mostly mine, mine's mostly hell. That's where, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your big shaved head. Oh my god, that's immediately reminder. We're just laying on my sickly little body, and Jay comes in like, "Hey, bud," and leans over, and I'm like, "Hey, buddy," and he's like, "You want to do Macho Man?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm real tired." I'm like, "That's yeah, where my like," right. and he'll be like, "Oh yeah, do you have more spots around your body?" I'm like, "Damn," I'm all, "What's up, Freckles?" <laughs> <laughs> You come in, I go, uh, no, Jay, it's good to see you, bud. Doctor says I got about a week. Um, don't touch me, though. Yeah. Uh, hey, Jay, <laughs> how about some skin with your dots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool, you guys brought me a Connect the Dot book in the form of a human friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> the Big Dipper. <laughs> Is that Orion's belt? Uh, no, it's the bonfire's Big Dipper. <laughs> <Joker said. laughs> Peace out, Trish. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Gary. I think you go eyes wide open. Like, I, go, I go like this. Watch the light leave. <laughs> hey, here's my soul. <laughs> hey, Ellie, you my soul into that trash can. <laughs> Set it up. You cram it. Go, as you're dying, you go, hey, open the door. <sighs> I wish I, was, I wish I could have great like. Can you let me out the door real quick? <laughs> hey, hey, Andy, open the door. <sighs> the fucked up way to die. That is such a funny way to die. When you tell someone to open the door. Hey, let me get out real quick. I wish you I have great last words for that last gasp of yeah. breath. Yeah. Be great. He goes. He goes. Hey, do you smell pizza in my breath? <sighs> <laughs> hey, come here, I want to tell you a secret. I found out the secret of life is... <sighs> <laughs> you just go... My last four just go, push it. Boop, 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 boop. We got to take, uh, take our first break. Push it. So, so early? All right, you want to do, do New Day? It's a New Day! We can talk about the new day named, uh, by the way, I asked him backstage. It is named after the wrestling team. Shut your mouth. Of course. Um, oh, I got so excited. <laughs> it's WrestleMania week. I got all excited. I was like, new day. This, uh, unrelated to my tragic skin disease for life. Guys, Jay is a survivor. He's battling. Every day is an obstacle. My bravery really should be commended. I mean, I honestly feel like we should do a march for you. <laughs> It's no telethon for fucking red dots on your body. You know what everyone can do, though, in a strike of solidarity, is all wear red t-shirts to work tomorrow. <laughs> and then people go, what is that for? You go, Big J has a skin thing that I can't pronounce. 
You're the Kari of Pigmentos. You, you're gonna. It tell sounds me like a New Day can, host. <laughs> you're gonna tell me. You got freckles that aren't freckles. This, what? <laughs> this guy's over here like. I didn't even know I could get freckles. I don't know. <laughs> Wow, you have it's a lifelong disease where you get these real why? Why don't you write it down, Doc? <laughs> so you flew uh, to Cleveland the night at, of the bonfire last Wednesday, and of course we did our research. Next, no, next morning. Next well, morning. Four a.m. Before, yes, yeah, so it was the yeah. same night. You're right, exactly. So, like oh, overnight. With um, no sleep, I went there to go see Hunkus and uh, Moss Man. Hunkus and the Moss Man. I. Want to talk to you before we watch this clip? Okay. There's, there's an interesting story here. Now, when Dan hit me up afterwards, you know, you were like, "Did you do the Groundhog Day thing? How did it go? Was it funny? Giving him all the stats about themselves and everything?" Mm -hmm. I was, I was interested to see if you were uh, the one I wanted to know is if you were the Moss Man. I went when I got there. The jig was up. They knew someone told them what was going on, and it was a. Uh, the whole thing. Thinking, did they tell? When did they tell you that they knew? In my mind, Dan was going to go. He's like, ah, oh, it sucks, dude. Ah, whatever. If, you know, talk to you soon. Dan goes, all right, great. Because now on the show, we got to do a whole thing finding out who the snitch is. Yeah. And you just kept pushing and pushing. <laughs> and I'm just like, why don't we just let it go away? <laughs> <laughs> and Dan's going to go, no, we, we got to find out right now who the snitch is. Yeah. Who, who fucking dimed us out? Yeah. No one dimed us out. I just fucking pussed. Oh. I got there on little sleep, and I was scared. And oh. she came in. And she was so nice up front. So I couldn't be the beautiful. I couldn't be the person right away. She came in to talk for a while. Oh. She cursed. It was oh. great. She was so pretty. Kind of. And I felt bad. But I, I, now here's the thing. I went out there and just did what I would consider a regular old morning show appearance on one of these shows. I want to take a picture of how your face looks. Doing the best I can. <laughs> and... But by all accounts, it was funny, and I made this really uncomfortable. And they told me that uh, they told me that when they put it out on the internet, that this is the only piece they didn't put out. So also. they edited you out because what did I don't know what I said. I don't remember. She wanted to weirdly talk about me sh bouncing for like and driving strippers and escorts at one point, Gosh. right? Honkus. And I thought that was a naughty weird thing. dog. That was a weird thing I thought for her to bring up. That's but, a bio the club has. <laughs> but in the so, back, I told her I was going to do the Groundhog Day thing. But I'll tell you what, I'll be, she wasn't not creeped out that we actually did the research on her. She She's a hot girl. But her, come with the but, her, but her laughing when she goes, uh, I, said, I was going to mention the uh, Steubenville, Steubenville wheeling, and she goes, oh, my God, the teen rape case. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, oh all yeah. right. All right, Hunkus, why don't you fucking punch Hunkus. the brace? Hunkus. Punk, well, here it is. We got Jay on New Day Cleveland. They edited him off the internet. I It's uploaded, and it's hidden on YouTube, so I can tweet it out, but shh. Yeah, don't tell anybody. <laughs> It's called New Jay Cleveland. Okay, can I ask real quick, just because I see the uh, the opening is you and the honk. Where's Mossman? Mossman's off. Mossman's not part of this. She did it herself. Bitch. I would, you, you should request both of them. Mossman was off to the side doing something. Mossman goes, they were telling me, they were laughing about it, said he goes to press junk. They call him like the celebrity interviewer of New Day. And he talks about how he used to have to go back and forth constantly to L.A. all the time. But then people started telling me like the inside of that. They're like... No, he goes to press junkets. Well, you go he just goes to press junkets, but he's always like, he's got the in with the celebrities. Like, no, he just I stands. called up my good friend Richard Simmons and <laughs> flew there. Like, they put him in a conference room and 10 people sat around him asking questions. Yes, that's exactly, that's exactly what it is. What it is. Uh, or no, he, you get your own time with him, but it's like one after other. You know, they go, everyone's got like five minutes. It goes, hey, this is so and so from this show. This is so and so from this show. That just and he means comes the, and he goes, this is the Moss Man from uh, New Day Cleveland. They were, means, both, they were both very, very nice to me. That just means the Moss Man makes a huge stink if someone else wants to get an interview with a celebrity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's, in, t going into commercial, let's listen to it. Here she is. If you want to hear, I'm curious what I said. Oh, that's true. Yeah, your weekend's about to get a whole lot funnier because our next guest is performing at Hilarities this weekend. Welcome, comedian Jay Oakerson to the studio. Thank you so much for coming in. Is this camera like you look fat? No. Oh, I like that. that. I'm feeling very Kevin Jamesy. You look good. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I like most, too? Just check out his tattoos on his arms. So, are you going to leave those uh, sleeves up for this? Because uh, one sure, people. I'm just going to scare people. This is <laughs> Cleveland. Well, we're not afraid of anything. This place is hardcore. Bone-tucking army. She is, she is I an like angel. I like that with tattoos. <laughs> Thank you. 
So he flew in this morning, so we do really appreciate you being here. I mean, you just got into Cleveland and we put you on TV. No, you so got, you're still waking up. You got dressed up for me, so I'm not show up. I tried, yeah. right? You're fantastic. So you are from, you're from Philly, which I think is really fun. I'm from Philadelphia. Originally, today. yeah. But now you live in New York City. I mean, you're the man in New York City when it comes awesome. to comedy, I hear. Who told you? Uh, Christine, she has such like hot girl thing of like just moving forward. She goes, "You're from Philadelphia. That's fun. <laughs> but you live in New York. That's even more fun. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. I am fucking super fucked up on opiates right now. <laughs> I don't know if you know about Ohio's thing, but like, just I am racing. I, my heart, feel my heart. It's like a hummingbird. I'm gonna fucking flip out. You know what that is? Four hundred <laughs> milligrams. Um." All right, you can go. <laughs> I mean, I like to if believe that's true. Around. Did my girlfriend call you? <laughs> no, she didn't. I just see when you're Did my grandmother life. call you and say I was a handsome boy who was the man in New York? <laughs> she, she, she might have. Okay. She believes in me. She might. Now, you have a, um, a radio show. I do. Yeah. And somehow, David and I became the subject of your radio show. That's so that true. Oh, you did. Yes. I was going to try to make you fall in love with me with Groundhog Day tactics. <laughs> Where I would lure you in with all of my knowledge of you. And what happened that you thought I was too tired to handle? I don't know. Uh, there. Yeah, and then I thought that you might put like a stalking charge on me. I, I looked you up. It seems like you're a little litigious, and I didn't want to get into the whole thing. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> so, but now what are you? Actually, if you look at your comments on your Facebook page, as we did, you get a lot of weird people. No matter what you're doing. You might know, be looking at my Facebook page too. If you're watching the Moss Man throw together a meatball sub, uh, <laughs> even on that, the comments are like, you look really great today. Raise your color. A lot of leg on the show this morning. Hold on, just pause it. You can hear you can tell you can tell you're killing with the crew, which I love. Oh, yeah. You can hear all the cameramen and stuff, the guys who really do who jerk off to her in like an American way, like on their backs, on their beds. <laughs> Not like the Moss Man. It's One just, foot planet. Yeah, Moss Man's probably just putting cigarette butts out like I'm the celebrity correspondent. <laughs> that little bitch needs to get what's coming to her. Yeah, you're killing with the crew. That's important. All right. Just a kid. And they're like, oh, you look fantastic. A lot of cleavage today. Oh, I. No, not yeah. today. <laughs> no, no, no. The comments today will be mostly about me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what do you do? That I mean, I know you, uh, you guys have had two. Have you guys have had two laughs where they come down, and if this was a date, you'd both take a sip of wine. Whereas <laughs> you laugh to you, ha ha. Oh, you're a good guy. So, you grew up in. Tell me about. Is that Merlot? <laughs> yeah. Anywho. Ah ha ha. Hmm. You want to get some uh, celery so, sticks and yeah. or something? I heard this place has the best calamari. Show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You did podcasts too? The two podcasts uh, that are. Wildly offensive. So, so this is if you were easily up. offended, maybe your show's not the one to go to. I don't know. Thing. You know, I think uh, everything I do, fun. everything I do is offensive. I believe uh, I use the analogy. I say it has dimples. So for some reason, people don't get upset because it's. I think it's always in good fun. Like good, no one ever seems to get mad. So many comedians get in trouble. For everything they say, I'm waiting for the angry letters. It never happens. You don't get the angry letters? That's good. And I say things so much worse than I've seen people being complained about. <laughs> so, but, well, you're used to being in New York City. And I think, you know, people in New York City, they're not afraid of anything either. They are a much more like... Oh, not me. I'm still terrified through. of the subways. I've been there for 16 years. Still afraid of them? Yeah, well, the first time I got on a mariachi band, jumped on, that kind of wigged me out for the rest of it. <laughs> I figured that's what's happening during the day, the night time's not getting better. <laughs> not a good place? No, I don't think so. Can we do it? What's your favorite kind of music? Can we do a fear subway trip with you and get you over your fear of the subway? <laughs> we'll make a fake subway car in the studio. It's all haunted and yeah. evil. And then I'm going to go, hey, Jay, you were never in the subway the entire time. Oh, you were here God. in the studio. That mariachi band, we brought him in from one of the <laughs> Latino channels. Hip -hop. I'm all over the place. I mean, the last couple of years, I've been everything from Marilyn Manson to... Uh, Ambrosia. A, you remember, you're too young for There's part of this interview where she looks like she's interviewing a prisoner, like you just got out and you're spilling the dime <laughs> on how you got put in there. She's like, an exclusive Cleveland, a <laughs> Cleveland exclusive. I have a prisoner who says he was taking advantage of the well. Yeah. Ambrosia. Oh, I'm sorry, but I... It's Yacht Rock. 
Not rock. You don't have yachts in this town? <laughs> we do have yachts. We have some yachts. You don't have old men who wear shoes or no. If there's yachts in Cleveland, she's been on one. Take a shot at take a shot at the moss man right here though. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have those. Back up. Don't they wildly hit on you constantly in no. this town? We do. For Ambrosia. Oh, I'm sorry, but I It's yacht rock. Yacht rock. You don't have yachts in this town? We do have yachts. We have some yachts. You don't have old we men do. who wear shoes with no socks? Yeah, we have those. Don't they wildly hit on you constantly and no, are you on their yachts? No, I just stay away from that. <laughs> You've never had a guy drive you to Cadillac to a Michael McDonald concert? No. <laughs> wow. Well, you're missing out, Tut. I am. <laughs> 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 I love the fact that you started comedy when you were around college, right? College time, college College age. time, I didn't go to college. You started, didn't you, at least? I went for like a month. Okay. And then you said, I'm done with this, I want to do comedy. And I started doing black circuit comedy, where I was the white guy. And, uh... And then I dropped out of college because I'm like, well, this is going to be my future. You can Black also, comedy. If you, if and you, luckily, as a fat guy... If you, if you chop this up right, this looks like the worst small bank loan interview of all time. Where she's like, I want to give you this line, no, buddy. Just, you got to hear me out. I make good empanadas. You go, here's what I'm going to do. They're is, baked, not fried. Uh, and gonna, the secret ingredient is love. So let me do it. Uh, it's a truck that I want to own. So, you know. Okay, and we're going to get this capital from where? Okay. Uh, right. And you know for a fact that Hunkus has been on a fucking yacht in Cleveland. She's been on a yacht before, topless, letting those nips get browned up. Baby, we're out of limes. <laughs> <laughs> and then fast forward to you being like, we don't have, we don't have, why we have yachts? I don't know I bet the guy guys. doesn't treat her very good, you know what I mean? Complains about her stuff. He's like, oof, legs are a little rough. Why don't you hit the shower? Yeah, cellulite, huh, hunks? <laughs> hey, hunks. It's a... Uh, she is an angel walking the earth. I, uh, FUBU shirts fit me. <laughs> uh, Rockaware, all the black styles fit me. So that I think the black crowd just thought that I was into all that. So I, I looked the part, so I was able to kind of win them over. Yeah, and then I started going to New York uh, with some mentorship and, uh, yeah, made my way. You were a bouncer, though, in the meantime, right? Throwing people around, kind of getting yourself some extra money. No, no, no. Uh, you were I, ever I, I no, I was a bouncer. Mm -hmm. Tech, I was driver. So I used to drive strippers to bachelor parties. Oh, and then, uh, okay. And then <laughs> by bouncing people around, I couldn't bounce anybody around because no matter what, that's where everybody said they go. Well, you'd be a great bouncer. You're a big guy, you know, but when you go to a bouncer, a bachelor party. It's 15 against one. You're in trouble then. Yeah, I can't fight 15 guys for a girl I don't know well. <laughs> they, just cut off. they just cut off well, to me. Well, I think you guys want to go check about Jay Oakerson. He's there tonight through Saturday at Pickwick and Frolic. Great guy. Hilarious. Go see him. You can't uh, have attachments to a girl named Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Tell your producer. Your producer likes us on our show. What's his name? No, Jacob, my producer, loves you. Oh, well, tell Jacob we said hello. Thanks, Jacob. He's probably defiled your ice bucket challenge video already. Oh, my. Okay, we're going to move on now. Show me how you do that, Cleveland. She's smiling. The Association, roughly 50 to 70 million U.S. adults have some type of sleeping disorder. And when we return, we're going to tell you which are the top of that list and what symptoms could signal some problems for you. Good segue. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's solid. That's solid. That'd be great if we went right into a sleep number read. <laughs> if like we would have timed that out perfect. Good segue. Yeah. I said there were at the end because she starts talking about something so serious. Like, she goes, what? That's pretty funny. And your your producer jerked off to my ice bucket challenge. <laughs> Children are missing. Where are they? Are they being fucked to death? We'll find out. Oh, man, that was so funny. What's your fucking deal? Season two's coming out on CISO April 6th. That's right, motherfuckers. All ten episodes. It's going to be released at the same time. That's a huge deal. Season two, what's your fucking deal? It's on CISO April 6th. And then this weekend, Big J is going to be at Caroline's Thursday through Saturday through Sunday. I apologize, Mark. 30th through uh, April 2nd. Go to BigJComedy.com for tickets. I'm going to be there Thursday. So if you're there Thursday, you'll see me. I'll be there and if with you, you and Jay. And if you want to know more about Dan Soder. Oh, yeah. Dan's going to be performing at the Comedy Mix in Vancouver. Mm. Thursday, April 6th through Saturday, April 8th. That's true. Just five days before I finally get to see a hematologist. <laughs> also great news. 
You can get tickets for all of his dates at the all new dansoder.com. Uh, Refurbished, redone, uh, top to bottom. Shout super out. cool site I get to check out. Shout out to Michael. Oh, the shout site. outs are always to you because. <laughs> We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. <laughs> oh, yeah. For some people, falling asleep can be as hard as the work day that is put in. But it doesn't have to be. Great sleep starts with the right sheets. And they're more than affordable than you think. It's not the sentence at all. Thanks to Bowling Branch. Bowling Branch sheets are crafted from 100% organic cotton. They feel incredible, get softer over time, and last for years. Bowling Branch sells exclusively online so you don't pay that expensive retail markup. Try them for 30 nights. If you're not impressed, return them for a full refund. Ugh, I had that really deep down in there. Sound like it was right on the edge. Oh man, it was like, they made a journey. Anyone who sleeps on Bowling Branch sheets loves them. They have thousands of five-star reviews. The New York Times, Forbes, and the Wall Street Journal rave about them. Even three U.S. presidents have Bowling Branch sheets. Go Daniel... It's me, Don't. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I love my Bowling Branch sheets. I'm President Garfield. I was elected to three terms, <laughs> and my Bowling Branch sheets were there for all of them. President the John Quincy Adams here. Ah, my father was John Adams, and he loved his sheets, and I loved my sheets. I went to BowlingBranch.com and got $50 off my first set of sheets, plus free shipping with the promo code COMEDY. It's an American tradition. That's $50 off plus free shipping, shipping right now. shipping is so hard in these times. Any times. Shipping is very difficult. Go to BowlingBranch.com, spelled B-O-L-L and Branch.com. Promo code COMEDY. Hey, it's Joe DeRosa, and you're listening to The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder, you fucking asshole. Oh, uh, I hate to even interrupt it. The song's so good. It is very good. It's Paranoid Android by Radiohead. Hits the top of the hour, and we're here. <laughs> Double shots of Radiohead. We're giving away tickets all day with Beagle and the Beast Boy. <laughs> it's the top of the hour here, and uh, it's the fucking suck shit. <laughs> it's fuck suck time. Hey, what's up? It's fuck suck suck town with, uh, with Mark and Rob. <laughs> That's where morning radio goes. <laughs> Mark and Rob. Hey, hey, what's up? It's ass to mouth with Mark and Rob. Happy Rob. Yeah, one of us gets fucked in his ass and then we suck the poop right off his dick. Woo! Felch dog. Um, um, suck my dick while I'm pooping. Giving away tickets to see Tori Amos at the amphitheater this purry, purry. <laughs> Is that the prize alarm? <laughs> um. We're going to be playing today our, our rejoin music. That's what they call it. Is that what's called in the biz? Let's go. The rejoins yeah. are going to be the uh, headliners for Coachella. We bring up Coachella simply because Christine, I believe, right, found this? Uh, she found, says she doesn't do any producing. <laughs> <laughs> Christine found this crazy uh, story about a Craigslist post for Coachella. For Coachella. I, yeah, I saw this on, uh, one of my buddies shared this on Facebook. The guy? Like, almost ten minutes before you texted me. Oh, yeah. So I was like... We were probably looking at the same buddy on Facebook. <laughs> Pete? I'm not sure. Uh, I literally was scrolling through, and uh, it popped up, and I opened it up to read it, and I just him. couldn't believe it. Um, I, thought she, I thought she worked with Pete. She didn't work with Pete. No. Well, I'd have heard about it if she did. All right, bro. Um, uh, All right. <laughs> this is a Craigslist ad posted from, uh, quote, unquote, Gordon... A 56-year-old divorcee who wants a young woman to go to Coachella with him. That's reasonable. You know, why not? You're an older dude. Take a young girl with you. Sure. And I get it. I got a ticket. We'll hang. It's a hard ticket Hope to get. Hopefully it goes good. A VIP ticket. Look, you know, it's like, here's the thing. Obviously, I got this ticket. I'd love to find a chick who wants to hook up or something. Maybe let's hang. Say, whatever. I don't know. There's, there's definitely ways you can make this less bizarre. Yeah. Um, what he lays out there in the ad, uh, which I read the ad here, Coachella VIP weekend, one pass, uh, colon, free for the right person, $1, um, through $1. Uh, this guy is coming out of West Los Angeles, is that what that would be? Yeah. Right. Uh, there's a picture of an old camper, the kind where the bed is 
above the cab you sit in. Love that shit. My yeah. uncle had one of these when I was growing up, and I when I'd stay at my Do uncle's house, really? I, I used to ask to sleep in that thing because I'm trash. That's fucking not only trash, but that is like that would scare the fucking shit out of me. Why? It's awesome. You're sleeping above where they drive. That's so badass. Oh, you're saying they drive around and you'd be up there? Sure. Yeah. When they were driving around, and then when he'd park his house, when no, he'd park saying, at his house, I'd sleep at, at, in there at nighttime. Yeah. That's weird as hell. Okay. It's fun. It's like camping yeah. in the yard. Yeah. What was happening? Just the, was, Christine had some bumpkin hillbilly fucking camper broken down in her yard. I'm it not taking her opinion. It looked just like that. It did. I, <laughs> me and my dad drove it back from Washington to Southern California, and then it was just broken down in the backyard for my entire childhood. Then you and your friends were sucking dudes off and booting meth in there. It's, that's, it's, that's, it's, that's a pretty good reason leads, to use it, though. It leads to nothing but trouble, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you're sleeping above a steering wheel. It's all dangerous. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's just the, that's just the danger you're assuming. It's really hilarious. It says, on the, by the way, the caption says it would be less conspicuous, so less suspicious if he were making meth in there. <laughs> yeah, that's the caption from the article. I guess oh, yeah. so, yeah. Um, I, dude, yeah, I get it. I think those things are cool. There's a little kitchen and a toilet in there. There, There's no toilet in there. I don't... I yeah, no, so. there's a bathroom. There's, there's a bathroom. bathroom. There's a little kitchen. Yeah. Bathroom, shower. Kitchen. But it's all tank water. It's like being on a tour bus. You guys really are pieces of shit. <laughs> or we just know how to sleep in alternative spaces. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you sleep up know. in the cabin of a thing? It was so fun. I I remember like asking my mom, like, what would you do? My mom was like, do you want to? And I was like, yeah, I would sleep. Uh, I know. Oh, oh well, they, when I, you whenever, just close the door of a camper, get in the top <laughs> thing by yourself and go to sleep. There's no TV or nothing. I never had a TV in my room growing up, though. So I'd like, I was like seven. I'd like play with my toys. <laughs> a seven year old sleeping outside in the car by himself sounds funny. If I put and it I, like that, if I put it like that, you'd call fucking child protective services. Was, I mean, my uncle lived in Carbondale. He lived in the mountains. It was all right. It sounds like the most fun time. As it was a seven great. Year old. Shut up, Christine. You fucking hatchet thrower. <laughs> I fell so from mash, the top. So mash, so mash, so Christine, mash. Christine really is a fucking rube. Smash, smash, <laughs> so mash. <laughs> I fell oh. from the top down a few times. Like my dad would be driving, I was sleeping, and I just roll off. That's really funny. <laughs> I, that's really funny because I never fell asleep while they were actually driving. I'd just lay up there because there's a window in the front, and you'd be like, "This is so cool!" <laughs> so <laughs> you're, you're playing like uh, your crowds, your car surfing without actually having to take the risk. Oh of car yeah, no, and no wind. There's no wind in your face. My hair looked cool. It's so weird. It's not weird at all. It's awesome. There's like a ladder that in. detaches that like lives yep. on the mattress. Yeah, I know pull exactly it off the what you're talking. About. <laughs> and if you lose that, guess what you get to do? Jackie Chan run up the side of the wall <laughs> to where you can get up on the bed. Yeah. And yeah. then generally the table that's in the back turns into another bed. Yeah. That one's not the fun one. Is my... This is rid ridiculous uh, sentiment. Am I the only one here? Jacob, oh, Lou? There's two people in the room. Huh? Jacob? No, it looks like a murder truck. <laughs> murder. Andy? Lou? I wouldn't go. Lou would sleep in that garbage. Yeah, I was pretty much raised... It's something similar. You were raised in a camper? But, but like a house. What? Like you were a, raised in a trailer? We're just hearing about it now? No, but we were that kind of family. Were you in a modular home? One of those things where it was like they brought it in a truck? We were ready to go. At any moment, we could pick up and leave in Are one of those. Are your parents assassins, Lou? This is taking a turn. <laughs> Louis, look at me. Your father has ended a recent government official, and we need to leave. Grab Stu. Lou's dead, so I'll never get attached to anything you that you wouldn't be willing to walk away from if you smell the heat coming around the corner. He goes, what do you want me to tell you, Lou, huh? That you got a brother named Stu? That's, my... why, that's why he hangs out with those Degos now. He yeah. likes getting a bunch of Dego advice. Mike and I always, uh, Vecchio and I always... Hey, Lou, you better be ready to cut and run. You tell me you're thinking about getting married... To a Jewish girl who used to fuck Moulinians? <laughs> I said that before, you dumb dago! Always sit with your back towards the wall. Face towards the door. You're stuffing your face into the same box that got prowled out <laughs> um, by some purple rocket dick. You go, are you embarrassed? Saw them together this morning. They came in? No, it was just Lou and Sebastian. <gasps> in here? No. Do you look upstairs. happy? Sebastian's in town? Uh, yeah. You're so excited. 
Why? Do I look excited? Why you wore cologne today? Is he taking oh. you out to car mines? <laughs> <laughs> Is he feeding you fresh prosciutto? I knew when I looked. Prosciut? I knew when I looked at you in the bathroom. I thought your dick looked shaved. <laughs> Are you shaving dick from this guy? <laughs> you know, he's taking me out to eat with Tony uh, Tony Danza, but I'm not supposed to say anything. Is Are that happening? You? No. I'll have you wear a wire. I'll <laughs> I'll have you wear a wire and ask specific questions. Lou, you're asking a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, I, maybe I'm just being my father's son here. But are you wearing a wire to dinner <laughs> with Tony with D me and Danza? I mean, what? Lou, you were my friend. I can't believe you wore a wire. I can't. Oh, God, I can't even. Um, oh, man, if you go to dinner with those two. You better go to dinner with those two. You better wear a wire. A side dish of pea coriale. Pea coriale. Pea coriale. Let's go. So this guy... It has a cool ass camper. <laughs> uh, we are we are so, differing on that. Fucking Gordon is badass with his fucking camper. Fifty six, prime of his life. He's fifty six years old, and he goes on in the ad to say, "Coachella VIP weekend one pass, free for the right person." Okay, here's the deal. I have a VIP pass for weekend two. Do you want this in creepy old man voice? Um, if you want to, <laughs> sure. Okay. It's so yeah. long, I think you're going to Yeah, lose. you're right. I'll give you're up. You're going to lose Steve. We've, we practiced on the live reads. Uh, and we're going to be chopping this up anyways. Uh, I'm willing to give it away for free f to the right person. I'm looking for a travel, quote-unquote, companion that can enjoy the festival with me and just have a good time. Okay. So far, I'm on board. I left my job as supervising manager at Soup Plantation. Stop which is right there. Pretty, <laughs> is there a, a pretty weird, specific thing to brag about when you're 56? Also, the place Soup Plantation, even though there's no indicate, it sounds racist. It does sound racist. That sounds like an Asian thing, like you would make fun of Asians for you. Like, go back to your Soup Plantation. <laughs> it's so good. I literally took a video of the buffet to send to Jay to entice him to go to Soup Plantation. <laughs> Look at all these goddamn yard apes. What did a soup plantation? Plantation closed down. Uh, all these damn nips just coming around here. I, my, they must have let them out of their soup plantation. Oh, God, there's a bunch of yellows running around. There must be a soup plantation going up in this goddamn neighborhood. I didn't know they opened a soup plantation in town. <laughs> Start locking your doors at night, whites. Um, can't can't wait to take a left turn over on MacArthur and see a bunch of Tokyo drifting on them damn nips. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, spooky crickets. <laughs> Looks like you picked the wrong yard to dance in. <laughs> spooky crickets? I don't know what that means. Uh, back to Gordo. Just fucking looking for uh, a hot piece to go to Coachella. Left with. my job as supervising manager at Soup Plantation and subsequently divorced my wife of 11 years. What she's came gonna... first? The chicken or the egg? Did he leave his wife and then well, fuck off? And... Subsequently, I thought means like... Does that mean that? Cause it means sort of because... I'm dumb. It, mean, it means like... Like, you know, so he left Soup Plantation, came home, and was like, "You're out too." Janice. No, 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 no. Oh, maybe yes. Or I thought, what does I thought maybe she didn't want to be with someone who couldn't hold a job at Soup Plantation. <laughs> she goes, "Gordon, my father got you the job at Soup Plantation. Only together eleven years. He's fifty six. I'm, I'm her. I'm his father-in-law. <laughs> I run a soup plantation. You understand? Here at my soup plantation, only two <laughs> things happen: we make soup, and no one makes trouble. No one makes an lip <laughs> um best friend is a black guy <laughs> um he worked there they were together for 11 years so since he was 45 all right um so we got married kind of old which does not sound good more for this guy we well, yeah. got married at 45 because he found some other weirdo who would be with a 40 some year old soup plantation she would come oh, in every day and have the same soup i would look at her right in her eye and say one day that Dementia, seventy-eight-year-old woman's gonna be my wife. <laughs> I was married to her for eleven years. He continued at eighty-nine. I said, "Get out of here, you old bag of bones, you scamp." Um, he continues. I cashed out my four hundred one k and decided that move at fifty-six. That's probably a pretty solid amount of money. Hmm. Um, mm, could only be seven thousand. 
yeah. and decide that moving forward, my life is all about having fun. Oh, he's going to die soon. No more team meetings. No more employee evaluations. No, no more, more balance soup. sheets. <laughs> no more goddamn soup. <laughs> all the soup. Lentil soup. Fucking <laughs> clam chowder can go fuck itself with a cold iron rod. Cheddar broccoli. Are you kidding me? That's I'm, not soup. I would have dreams. I was drowned in soup. Chowders. <laughs> Soups and stews. I would grab onto a cracker, but it would just break apart and make the soup and more enticing. Having a two-hour argument that vegetarian chili is not soup. <laughs> uh, um, his life's all about having fun. No more team meetings, no more employee evaluations, no more balance sheets, no more darn conference calls at 7 a.m. Dot, dot, capitals, just fun. Yeah. I have a room at the Tropics Motor Motel voted most likely to get someone murdered during Coachella. Dude, Tropics Motor Motel. Bring it up, a picture of this place. We gotta look up a picture of the Tropics Motor Motel. In Indio. It's in Indio, uh, California. I wanna see this. Thursday through Monday, um, which is the entire weekend. If you believe you can meet the below criteria, please. Oh, Jay, wait till you see a picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is killer. I'll be honest with you, not as bad as I thought, but it's definitely a drug deal going down there. Someone's been stuffed in a mattress in this place. I bet bet there's, like, blood on the floor of that place. I've seen many, like, shitty hotels and motels. I woke up. I'm at the Tropics Motor Hotel. Wait, let me see it again. It looks like there's lights out in the picture on their website. Be all right this <laughs> there is. Yeah. Um. Holy shit. All right. Well, back to the ad. Uh, he goes. If you believe you can meet the below criteria, please shoot me an email to describe why you think you'd make the best fit. I appreciate your time and look forward to finding <laughs> the right. Uh, Quote, unquote, one. Now, he had to have... He wrote this with the hopes that it was going to be multiple beautiful women coming to his apartment and auditioning. Maybe. Now, for some reason, the way the article's written, it broke the 10 up into like a top and bottom. Yeah, there's 20 20 things that people need to do if you want to stay with him. If you want to be my lover. Oh, you got to meet 20 points of my criteria. If not... Love lasts forever. You'll die in the end. Now there's out of the gates. <laughs> Is that not the song? <laughs> there's out of the gates some be uh, some bizarre shit going on here. Okay. Well, um, let's start. You know what? Let's just go through all. Before 20. we do, wait. Should we take timing wise, Jacob? Should we take a break and come back and go through these criteria? Good time, yeah. 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 Take it. So let's take a break. We'll come back and go through Gordo's twenty top twenty reasons. Gordy, he grows on you. And then it gets weird. If you like having beers outside of your hotel room door, watching traffic go by on the 101, <laughs> I'm your guy. I'm your guy. Do you? <laughs> can you meet the criteria? Um, we'll come back and go through his wacky criteria <laughs> on the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big Jay Okerson and Dan Soder. I get it. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. I'm Dan Soto. That's Big J Okerson, and we're doing Coachella music all day long. Why? Because we found out about Gordon's 20, his list of 20 things to do if you want a VIP pass to Coachella this weekend. Jay and I can't go. Why? Well, because number one on his list... I don't meet any of the criteria. You got. You must be female between the ages of 19 and 25. Jay and I both have penises and testicles, and we are over Severely 30. over 25. Yes. On uh, number two, you must be comfortable traveling in a recreational vehicle. Dan, you are. Fuck yes, I am. That's a vintage Shasta Chinook 300, 3100. I mean, it's Chinook. Wait, can I see that picture again? Yep. Let me see that pic. Yeah, that's absolutely a 3100. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. That thing is built for the You know, it's funny. I couldn't that. tell because like, the paneling on the yeah. side is, is different, but I think that's custom work. Oh, absolutely, man. Shasta makes some good, but the Chinook is what you're... Basically, what you're seeing is is that's a vintage Shasta Chinook, which means Chinook. <laughs> Chinook, am I saying? <laughs> yeah? yeah? Oh, Merkface. Chinook? Of course, yeah. Merkface knows. How Chinook. do you know that? It's like a Native American the Chinook. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was a tribe, right? Yeah. For Jay, it sounds like a, it sounds like an insult for Nia Zoe. Because uh, a bunch of these goddamn Chinooks came in here <laughs> trying to build a goddamn casino. I we am, don't have enough problems in our goddamn town. For 
old Clint Eastwood has become racist. His brain, like the sauce of an apple, turned into mush. Hey, cigar store, why don't you get your goddamn sweat lodge out of my fucking neighborhood? Hey, Clint, how does it feel to know you made all of your money by being a cowboy over in Italy? You didn't even make those in the United States. What kind of dumb Habibi wears a goddamn feather in his head and a bow and arrow against a gun? For Different that? kind of Indian. I, I combine the Indians. <laughs> um, number three. Must have a fashionable sense of style. Yeah. In the, in the Well, we've all got that going on here. Everybody in here has got their own fashionable sense of style. In the vein of typical uh, Coachella goer, i.e., Cute Indian headband. Now, here's where it starts getting a little dicey. Yeah, this is where you start seeing that it was definitely, uh, this was wrote in a robe or loose fitting basketball <laughs> shorts. Uh, no, I think it was definitely a robe. <laughs> yeah, because when he's drafting this up in a robe, he starts getting a little is it, specific. Is it robe, pajamas, robe, no, t-shirt, uh, boxers, or just robe, nuts out? I'll see that it's robe, t-shirt, no thing under. No t bottoms. and just poo bear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel like writing a nasty old Instagram. I'm going to write a crazy Craigslist post. Hello, I'm a bear. I enjoy honey. I have a friend who's a pig. I have another friend who's a sad donkey. We travel around in a vintage Shasta Chinook. I heard on a three-day VIP pass. Oh, silly bell. <laughs> to see it, I want to watch you go to the bathroom. Right it, on me. You're, I feel like you're jumping the gun, Pooh. It goes, uh... Q uh, in the headband, possibly another suggestion. Small ripped jean shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Last suggestion, lots of colorful bracelets. He goes on... Etc. 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 Um, no. four. Dan, go for it. Preferably have a playlist of various Coachella artists on the phone so we can listen to on the ride over. I, I, I like that. It, but you know what? I'd, I'd be going. Why do we have to use my phone? Like, can you? But he's fifty six. He that's why. Figure out. He's the got MP3. a lot of Steely yeah. Dan. He's got like his. Uh, you 56 know, fifty six just flat out might not even have like MP threes at all. He might still be rocking the fucking CD. Which means the reason he asks you have him on your phone so Gordo can ask you every song. Go now. Who is this? Okay, and we're going to be seeing them? All right. <laughs> oh, they go on early? That's good. I'd like to have dinner around 4, if that's yeah. okay with you. I hate to bring up Angie, my ex-wife, but we were together 11 years. She never would let me done something like this. <laughs> so it's just so freeing. <laughs> It's nice to get out. Oh, God. I had the Chinook in the backyard, and I was like, let's let this thing fly. You know what? Through a little WD-30 on the uh, old engine block there, baby turned right over. <laughs> I used to build, uh, like, small sail sh sailors, like, sail ships in this, in the Chinook back on that kitchen table, because, you know, Angie would chew drink, and we'd get into a fight, and I'd have to come back here. But this is totally different and fun. <laughs> oh, shit. Number five. This is one of Dan Soder's top threes, if you know me. <laughs> Number five, he says, must keep hands and feet moisturized at all times. The guy doesn't want crusty feet and hands around. I get that. You're going to be interacting a lot. Gordon, hi. Can I talk to you for a sec? Dan Soder, MTV2's Guy Court. Real sidebar, real quick. Love number five. <laughs> Love it goes. It was uh, not looking for work. Just a fan. Just a fan. Just, just a wanna, fan of your. I want to come over here list. and shake your moisturized hands. I didn't know you were so big on moisture. I'm kidding. It's so weird. <laughs> I don't no. think I've ever used lotion. <laughs> Damn it, do Lou. You're a Pearl Jam tour whore. What do you think? Where do you check out on this? What if I was uh, a victim? Like I could be the girl? Hang on, these guys are waving the Mrs. Robinson over in the corner. <laughs> I was hi, waving Mrs. Ben. Robinson. I was saying hi to Deb. I only got Ben. Hi, the black of the berry. What is it? Old of the berry, sweet of the juice. I'm giving him my back. Um, don't worry, Lou. You're a Pearl Jam tour whore. Where do you? Does number five? Where do you check out so far here? I. I would take the drive with this kook <laughs> and then ditch him once I got in. Okay, so we of need course. to keep going through the rules. But if I was a female, like a young girl, like... 19 no, no, no. 25. No, no, Lou. Lou Witzke. What does Lou Witzke do here? 
You're still in. Uh, I'm still in. You're wearing, so Indian, you're wearing Indian headband for him. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm still in. What about the moisturizing? You're cool with that still? As long as I, I the... want Lou and Gene. <laughs> so to draw a picture of Lou and Gene shorts a, and, and a headband and a, and a lot of colorful bracelets. Oh. That would make me so happy. Well, I'll tell you this. <laughs> Lou would be there because he definitely uh, has number six. Jay, what's number Although, six? I'll tell you what. The guy's for sure moist. I know that. Yeah. Um. Oh, number six. This is this is the lob of the whole list. Uh, must be open minded and opportunistic. Mm hmm. I mean, you're you're already that if you're here. If, if you, you're there, you're opportunistic. You took an opportunity that was presented to you. That's so you know. Yeah. Seems a little odd, but you try to play the game. And you're d uh, number six should be number one. If I'm just editing, I'm just spitballing right now, Gordo. If I could put number six, number one, they're going to have to be open minded and opportunist, opportunistic to even make it through. If you can go back in time. If I, yeah. I oh. like to add that William in, uh, in Mississippi, I guess it is, says, uh, he didn't, we don't have to take the call at all, but he just wrote, what kind of Sioux Plantation has conference calls at 7 a.m.? That is, which is right. a pretty hilarious and yeah. wonderful observation. Good call, Good call William. William. <laughs> like, ah, nothing like morning on the Sloop, Sioux Plantation. <laughs> I start every morning off with a nice bisque and a call at 7 a.m. conference call. I got Tokyo on the line, breathing <laughs> down, because we don't have enough Asian soups. <laughs> um, number seven. Must be okay with periodic hand holding. <laughs> now it's getting a little more bizarre. Uh, in parentheses, he puts perhaps during certain sensual songs and while walking into the festival initially. You so, organized hand holding. Can you give me your hand just as we walk in? Look, if you post on Craigslist and you're looking for dick or pussy, I guess, right? I think you go into it with a pretty like defined thing. So I, I, in the vein of Craigslist, this guy's laying his shit out there. It's just he's laying it out there. I don't even know if he knows. Far creepier than he just goes, "Hey, if you if you say you'll fuck me like a couple times or suck my dick three times this weekend, like I'll give you my thing and you ride yeah. it with me." But then, the, then go run around do whatever you want. Craigslist. Huh? You can't post that on Craigslist. You'll get kicked off. I'm sure you can. I'll give you my other ticket if you come and say you're going to suck my dick a couple of times. Like, well, he, I mean, it's no more, whatever. I get what you're saying, but like, it's... It gets way creepier when he hits, when he hits, like, when he says number eight, which is fingernails and toenails must be nicely painted and harmonious with the general color scheme of outfit. It's so specific. Um, Ashley, I noticed you watched, walked out of the bathroom and I looked at your toes and they're teal. You wore teal yesterday and today's more of a orange yellow outfit. So get back in there or we're not going to go see DOS FX. That's probably not who's there. <laughs> <Fucking> whore. <laughs> I really took a guess at who would be a coach. Well, Toss effects, dude. You know it. But <laughs> <laughs> hoy there, mates. You have a gibbity guts to flow. <laughs> hey, we had one album in nineteen fucking, <laughs> literally nineteen ninety four. Maybe, a... maybe ninety three. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue what it's a toss effects. <laughs> Stickity bum, stickity bum, huh? I got you built it up, ho ho. It's like a FIFA, you ho. Here we go, here I go. I've been waiting to see them for quite some time. It's like a super califragilist, a FIFA, fo, huh? Mmm, Daisy. Now you go crazy. Crazy with the box, look at Jay, why don't you read number nine? The one, two, um, buckle my, um, shoe, yabba do, hibbity hoo, crack a brew. Oh, they were the shit. Yeah! 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 Um, DOS effects. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, that was all your age. <laughs> <laughs> um, nine. I will provide snacks such as beef jerky and peanut butter sandwiches. Oh. Peanut butter sandwich made by a 56-year-old man? Not, Not that, even peanut butter and jelly. There's definitely drugs that's in this. Like, I mean, it's literally, it's like he's describing like what you give someone you're keeping chained up in an attic. He goes, by the way, there will be some sort of sleeping pill in the sandwiches. So, those... Peanut butter sandwiches? Not even peanut... Like, he was like fun to be like young and like PB and J's, you know. So I'll make, make some maybe some also, PB and J's or whatever sandwiches. Th that's not the only. Maybe option. just sandwiches, beef, beef jerky. jerky. That's the best. And that makes me hot like watching a girl gnaw on some beef jerky. If you could really get into it with your side teeth, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> oh. He's like, well, 
Throw some mowers into it, young lady. <laughs> yeah. Your generation doesn't know how to chew. You're not workers. <laughs> yeah. Also, who's this on your phone? I like them. He will provide snacks Doss such as beef jerky. <laughs> Do you have any DOS effects in there, young lady? I was a spry 36 when it came out. <laughs> um... Peanut butter sandwiches, but if you have additional snacks and or drinks, dot, 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 all caps, big bonus. <laughs> because my 401k Dude, my can look. only afford peanut butter sandwiches and beef jerk. Yeah, all I got is Slim Jims and Skippy, but if you can fucking bring some extra, how great would that be if you go, hey, Gordon, just wanted to wait until we got outside the city limits to let you know. I brought ginger ale. It's <laughs> <laughs> a 12 pack of ginger ale. <laughs> Or scooting out the what fucking a, Chinook. What a big bonus. Now, before we crack one of those open, can you moisturize your feet a little bit for me? <laughs> they look like they're driving. Uh, they are on tour. What? DOS FX is on tour, motherfuckers. Are they playing here? We In nine. Next week. Next oh. week, what day? The 6th. Oh, well, we might have to. Guess he would day that is. Thursday. Next Thursday, I'm going. One, two, buckle Me too. Shoe. And I'm in, I'm in Vancouver. Ooh, hibbity coo scoo cack a brew I'm going. <laughs> Christine's going to go. Um, number, right. t number 10 is really where it kicks off, the, where the crazy really starts hitting in. Yeah. This is like the dun dun dun. This starts oh, getting man. like, okay, I don't know who's making it through this. And we have a guest coming in. I think we should go to break after this half the list. And then we'll come back and finish this bad boy out. With our guest? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure he'll have some take on this. Yeah. He's a father, I believe. Number 10 says, being social is fine, but no excessive fratinizing. For fratinizing? Fratinizing. I really didn't have the confidence to make it through that word. <laughs> with, with other male festival goers, and most definitely, all caps, no public affection with other festival goers. Violation of this rule revolt, results is, in is, immediate is, is removal. It, it's in parentheses. In yeah, parentheses. so you, let, you know it means business. Violation of this rule results in immediate removal of the Tropic Motor Motel Room <laughs> privileges and maybe even return ride. So if I, if I deem you're being flirty with another dude, you're sleeping somewhere else. Now, by the way, Lou's got the right idea. As a real fucking, like, jam band uh, concert slut, like Lou is, mm -hmm. you know it doesn't matter. You just got to get there. You'll figure it out from there. That's the flow. You'll find a ride. That's the I, flow and the breeze of living in that fucking jam band world. Yeah, Gordon, you pump the brakes on you getting them back. They don't care about going back, bro. It's about getting there in the journey. So figure it out. Yeah, that's their whole thing. Also, that chin looks going to be broke down on I-10 within by t Monday morning. And if she's the kind, if she's the girl you're looking to find in this, that he's the girl. If it's the girl with the looks that he's hoping to find, this guy's. Dream is not that some uh, slob's going to walk up to the door. <laughs> hey, hey, kids, are you Gordon? Yeah, Gordon. One through 20. I nailed it. I brought burgers, two for me, one for you. In and out. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> if you do this, you're, yeah, you're going to be removed from the room. So if you, hook, if you hook up with somebody else, you say, you can't sleep in my place. I think she's probably not. So that's kind of a... It looks... Psychotic and clingy and weird before you've even met a person or yeah. spoke to them. Yeah, you're already jealous and threatening them for something that's inconsequential. Yeah, you basically want to ensure if you're Gordy, which I get. I don't. I don't agree with it, but I get what he's trying to. You're trying to get some pussy in exchange for young lady. Were you for looking, a Coachella ticket? Were you looking at that man in line when we were getting lemonades? <laughs> she goes. I mean, he was the guy who sold us lemonades. And he goes, you like his body because it's young. Oh, I feel because, like a... because his skin is tight. I'm going back to the Tropic Motor Motel. He shows you pictures of him when he was younger wearing, like, the the one strap, like, units <laughs> are. when he was younger, like, ah. old time. He's lifting, like, uh, the weights that just have two circles on the end that say a thousand on the meat. I fought in the, I fought in the first Iraq war. <laughs> Jack Johnson. Now, there was a pugilist. Yeah, he would hit you right in your moneymaker. Uh, we'll come back with the second half. If that's the teaser, that's the, a great to be continued for the lunacy that starts to ensue here. Uh, also, I want to give a sh quick thanks to Go Pack Joe, uh, Phil, who came out to see me this weekend, who sent us the uh, 
the good or the new day Cleveland clip. Oh, thanks. He buddy. filmed that for thanks. us because I said they removed it from the internet. Thanks, Phil. Scrubbed. Uh, nobody wants to hear about Jacob beating off, I guess, anymore. Oh, I was going to start a side podcast about it. I always want to hear about it. Maybe we can talk about it this weekend. Jay's going to be headlining Caroline's on Broadway this Thursday through Sunday. So get your tickets now, motherfuckers. BigJComedy.com. I will be there on the Thursday show hanging out. Going to try to make it for the Saturday night show. Possibly early one, possibly late. I don't know, but make sure you get your tickets to come hang out. Louis J. Gomez is going to be there. Dave Smith, Mike Fenoya, and uh, What's Your Fucking Deal? Season 2 coming out on CISO April 6th. This time, all 10 episodes at once. So Very you can exciting. binge it, watch all the new uh, comedian guest mics, the new guests, all that. And stands in the trailer. The trailer's out too, which is great. Yeah, I saw the trailer. Fun. It's so, uh, so cool. What's Your Fucking Deal? Season 2, April 6th. Mark it down. Mother and then, of course, if you want to see Dan. <laughs> that didn't fly. That didn't fly. Dan's going to be performing at the Comedy Mix in Vancouver. Thursday, April 6th through Saturday, April 8th. Oh, it's going to be a good weekend. You can get your tickets at his brand new, completely modified and changed, up-to-date, super great website. Oh. Dan Soder, mm. named simply dansoder.com. Because as I don't have to tell you, <laughs> we'll be right back. It's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Well, your grandma stay. Yeah. It's the bonfire. We are back. Coming to the radio series XM 95. Big Jokers and Dan Soder. The gang's all here uh, joining us today. Very, very, very good friend of mine. Uh, he's going to be at the Punchline in San Francisco this Thursday, March 30th through Saturday, April 1st. And then the Comedy Castle in Royal Oak, Michigan, April 13th through the 15th. Uh, you can get your tickets at paulmercurio.com. It is, in fact, Paul Mercurio, buddy. Hey, guys. Yeah. How are you? Hey, dude. Good to see you. Lou's here? I forgot Lou Baby was here. I didn't know. Yeah, Lou is really just the village bicycle of Sirius. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows. Everyone He's the town whore. He's yeah. a silly... He is. He's it's passed horror. around. I mouth kiss him in the lobby, and people go, oh. <laughs> they go, ooh, yeah. I wouldn't do that. And I go, why? And they go, well, let's just say he was here with Sebastian earlier. Yeah. Oh, and, and then Jim Brewer. Oh. A lot, there's a lot of Jim Brewer in that mouth. No. I've been around a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Corey Alley. Oh, my God. Oh, God. You, you know what? Of, you got a lot of miles in that butthole. <laughs> you know what? The Lou, I'm comfortable with it, and I think it gives you the seasoning that makes me love you even more. Oh, thanks, Dan. It gives you character. You need to have. Shots from every. You know how they have like a stat, the statue of Kareem out in front of the uh, Staples Center. You gotta have a Lou statue in right the on. lobby, yeah, big right bronze on. statue with that, just the way he is right now, plaid shirt, headphones. I put him out, shit. jack of all trades. I put him out front smoking a Marlboro Light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, do a, I do a statue on Forty Eight. I want to be remembered. Let's, let's do that thing where we paint him gold and make him stand there all day as a statue of Lou, <laughs> and then scare little kids and they walk up. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Um, Pearl Jam's the best. Ah, Eddie Vedder. So we were talking about, we were catching Paul up off air about Gordon going to Coachella with his young lady friend. And uh, we got through number 10. Number 10 starts getting a pretty possessive and pretty crazy where he says if you have any PDA with a, uh, another concert goer, a male concert goer, you will be stripped of your key. I guess it's not a card. They don't have key cards at the Tropic Motor Motel. Oh, that's still a, that's still an actual key <laughs> yeah. connected to a big, thick keychain. Where he goes, who's in room 86? <laughs> yeah, she goes, no, it's, uh, a big, it's a big rim, like a tire rim. <laughs> yeah, a gas, gas station, station bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> you have to drag it along the ground. It's but he, yeah, it's got like a pipe on the end of it. Or just a spork with a bunch of scotch tape. <laughs> yeah, like, this yeah. is just oddly inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's threatening to pull the return ride. So now let's jump to 11 through 20, which really Wait, just... Wait, first I want to show Paul the uh, the picture of where... Oh, the Chinook? Who Christine on The break. Shasta Chicna? Chinook? Yeah, yeah who all, Christine brought up a good uh, point. Christine, did go all the way to the top. And did the, you just uh, say that one of the conditions is if, if, the, if this per woman or girl had... 
PDA with another guy, yeah. she's out. Yeah. So how, how does he like? She, how does he? You get a look online, I guess. And stuff no, like, no, no, no. At the concert. Oh, at the, at the concert. At, at Coachella. Oh, oh when, my you, God. When, when you there get there. Go. Now here's the thing. <laughs> they're, go, they're going in this camper. Yeah, that doesn't speak freak at all. Yeah, <laughs> they're going in this camper. How far of a drive is Coachella, Christine, from LA? Um, it's like an hour. Oh, that's, that's not, not bad. bad. Okay. And that, that I, I mean, I hate to stick up for Gordon here, but that camper does have wood on the sides of it, so it's classy. But listen, you're only going an hour away, and you're going to Coachella, which is a campsite, yeah. basically. Yeah. Why are they staying in the room anyway? It's kind of cool of yeah. Gordon, actually, in that regard. Just not say, hey, you got to sleep with me also it's in this classing it up. fucking cramp. Macaroni and cheese in the room. I'll tell you this. Right now, beef jerky and peanut, peanut butter, butter sandwiches. sandwiches he will provide. Is that right? Yeah, yes. that's, the, that's the menu. So he makes a stop at like the, the gas station, Quickie Mart, does all his shopping for the week. Yeah, I got a feeling he is home planning a much more heinous crime making yeah. those peanut butter sandwiches. This, oh, yeah, his, this his thing money. looks like, like the, that women were killed and their skin was stripped of their bodies in that camper and then worn and they were tossed on the side of the room. Well, his money's, I think, more going to acid that can break down bones and that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, you remember when uh, Norman Bates was making toasty cheese sandwiches yeah. and, like, this big thing, he's, like, very pleasantly making it, like, right. while he's, like, talking to a dead girl or something mm -hmm. like that. Calmly. That's what I'm picturing. He's making peanut butter sandwiches nicely. He, like, a little bit of the peanut butter gets, like, on the side of the bread, and he goes, fuck, yes. no, yes. no, Gordon, no, this is a new it's Gordon, okay. no, you're no longer running this. We're not going to do this. He goes, we'll just get another piece of bread. You walk into the kitchen, and there's, like, 18 discarded pieces of bread that didn't, he didn't yeah, quite get it right. Yeah. Fuck, and he just tossed hey. it. Like, it was like the snap, he goes, fucking Gordon used to, no, no. <laughs> Nope, the, I'm not going to do that now. Where they get to the Tropic Motor Inn, she goes, it's not a big deal. I can just, like, sleep in the camper. He goes, no one sleeps in the camper. No one sleeps out there. That's but, where Mother sleeps. But, you know, you're, <laughs> you know, it's funny. You're a zero to 60 guy. Yeah. Uh, Dan, we always talk about that. Zero to 60. I have a two. Have people, it is funny when a new person sees that oh, flare dude, in you. And Justin definitely saw like, it this weekend. And you definitely like that thing where you're like, they probably think I'm a raging lunatic. <laughs> <movie." laughs> you know what I mean? It's like just being frustrated, you got to pick somebody up. Or, Without and, and a you're doubt. frustrated by that traffic or something. Dude, you're like, that and you go, to I just got to get yeah. rid of thing and we keep hitting these fucking red lights. Dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> that comes off crazy. Justin was in the car. We're driving to Providence. Something happens. He goes, these fucking motherfuckers. Yeah. And he's like, oh, all right, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Right. He goes, that happened to me. At the Omaha Funny Bone, a woman stole my jacket off the stage, and it was between the first and second show Saturday, and the, sh the, the jacket was, like, not of value, but it meant a lot to me because it was the first, like, thing my son bought me, like, my son picked it oh, out wow. for me, and I was fucking ripped, and she, it was, like, around Christmas, and I was, like, fucking talking to her and her husband. She was part of this big company Christmas party, like, they had money. I don't want to derail from this too much, but long story short, I go to look, go back in, I walk off stage after the show, I go back in, my jacket's gone, and she was, like, uh, she comes over to the table, and she goes, you know, it's like, you're hanging out, she goes, mm -hmm. can I have your jacket? I'm like, what? He goes, she goes, can I have your jacket? I go, what are you talking about? I go, no, and then we figured out she stole it, and they went down the street, and one of the servers went down the street where they were, and he walked in, and she was wearing my fucking jacket, oh, and she Jesus. wouldn't give him the jacket back, and he had to like to call the cops. What? And I Jeez. went this. The reason I bring it up is I went ape shit, like I was kicking the wall. I was <laughs> like, I'm fucking done, and they all freaked out because they're like, you're so like nice and quiet. I go, well, a switch goes off, and I'm in fucking Omaha getting my jacket stolen. You tell me there's not a perspective issue there. What the fuck? But it is funny though because at the end of the day, you look back and said it meant something to you, but like to the world, <laughs> it's a valueless like jacket. It's a nylon, like, thing, like, right? like a like a light spring jacket. <laughs> you know, it's exactly. that cock sucker. Yeah. I'll fucking burn this go, whole whoa, place whoa, down. Whoa, 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 exactly. whoa, dude! I saw they have those at Dillard's. We can go. <laughs> Get one tomorrow. My club will pay for it. It's going to be fun. My wife is in a concert with some friends here in New York, and I'm fucking calling, and I'm calling, because I have to talk to somebody, because I'm getting crazy. And oh, so you're getting wound up, she's not answering, and she's too. not answering, <laughs> and I'm like, fuck! And I'm fucking kicking yeah. the wall. There's uh, like a hallway, and there's all black marks on it from where I was kicking it. Yeah. You know you can catch me doing it? My, f my favorite snap that I go pretty hard on is the, uh, and one time, it'll drive me bonkers the second time you're gonna see a, a lunatic mm -hmm. is a phone call like hello and you go hey what's up so i'm calling you back to see you hear hello mm. and you go no i'm here i'm talking to you right now and they go hello are you there can you hear me i'm like yeah i completely and you look at your you see if you hit mute and you didn't you're like hello hello and yeah. if they stay on there too long go like uh hello like can you hear me at all you're like i fuck 
fucking here! I mean, like I'm Henry Rollins, I grab the cool around that thing, like, I fucking hear you! You stupid cunt! It doesn't matter who's the other phone line. I'm and, when, and when I talk to them, as soon as we hang up and call back and it works, my, my, I know I still am reflecting oh, still there? the anger You're of like, that hey, thing. Yeah. Like it was their fault. He's like, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, what's up? Yeah, what's I heard, up? I heard yeah. you the whole time. He goes, you didn't hear me for real? I heard you the whole time. Dude, oh, and then he's like, the and, the, knife and, in and they're almost like, they're like, no, I'm sorry, I just didn't hear you. I, I, I'm sorry, like my phone was acting. My phone's acting funny. He goes, You're, it's really acting really funny. I heard you perfect. I got full signal where I'm at, and they're always just like. Oh, anyway, do you want to go to a concert tomorrow? Yeah. I have what a free I, ticket that no one can get. <laughs> when I found you out go about to a concert, you just have to wear some silly little Indian headbands and keep your cut off more, shorts. Keep your feet moisturized. <laughs> uh, before I found out the Do Not Disturb button um, on my phone, multiple texts, people that text like one sentence at a time, like, uh, hump, 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 after a third. You would have actually murdered Kurt Metzger by now. Yeah, third, <laughs> by a third text. I'll fucking start punching shit. If it's four, I'll be like, okay, okay, what, what? And I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, what's up, motherfucker? Like, dude, Vecchi owns watched where he goes, okay, buddy. Like, he's just sitting in the living room. You know where like, that's, uh, by the way, like, that's, everybody says that in different voices. Okay, buddy. Yeah. yeah. That was my new, you know, it's a funny one for me now that, that's getting me with that with multiple yeah. texts is because the new game I'm addicted to on my phone is some like hexagon puzzle game, mm -hmm. but there's only a free version of it. So every time you go away from it, at all. First of all, every time you beat a board, it makes you watch a, an ad. Yeah. But every time you get away from it and come back to it, it makes you watch an ad before you can get back to the game. Yeah. So when someone texts exactly, it'll like come up like a thing and you're like, all right, like I should see what they're saying. And then that come back. And it's like, you know, it's like, hey, are you going to be, uh, you know, around tonight? And you're like, yeah, I am. I'm going to be around for sure. And then you go back to your thing and you do an ad and then you start playing and you see the name come up again. And yeah. you're like, okay. well, I'm going to wait till I finish the board on that one. And then like two more come up. You're like, well, it's probably, and then you find out just nothing really yeah. when you go back. I had, Dude. I have this moment. We got uh, five of my best friends. We all went to high school together. So we, we they, they like to group text. Yeah, that's, that's where that's I lose it. That's a fucking cocksucker. And, I, and I'm standing With in Facebook my, Facebook messages too. Like, and it's like, Oh, like my buddy's sister is going to medical school, so he sends us a picture of her with like a fucking graduation thing, and it is literally a line of t oh, congratulations, this and that. And I'm standing in my living room, and I go, "Do these fucking guys not work?" My yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that's the kind of thing you yell at, though. Yeah, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon, and they're all supposed to be working, and it's like fucking these old ladies text. I don't give a fuck about your cunt sister with the fucking thing. I don't yeah. care. Zero to sixty, you go so specific that you want to hurt them with what you say. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Where you're like text, like you're not even a good friend. <laughs> you shit where you're like, yeah, I met yeah, your sister once. Yeah. Say something important, you unimportant twat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wish you would have died in that car accident in high school. <laughs> oh god, that was me. Oh, I just checked the text. Yes, if that I was a little excessive. A <laughs> so god, um, easy, buddy. Uh, Paul Mercurio is joining us. He's going to be at the punchline, punchline in San Francisco. In San Francisco. What's the date on that? Uh, this this Thursday, Thursday through Saturday. Through Saturday, and then uh, yes, this. Thursday, March 30th through Saturday, April 1st. Uh, and then at the Comedy Castle in Royal Oak, Michigan. Such a cool place. Uh, yeah. I'd love to go back He's there. He's a great April, guy. April 13th to the 15th. Mark Ridley's, right? Yeah. Royal Oak, Michigan, April 13th to the 15th. You can get all your tickets at paulmercurio.com. Should we jump back into the... Uh, yeah, i got to say, this camper this looks very well kept clean. Like, it's like old school 70s, but... Uh, right, we don't know 80s? what the inside is. Well, serial the killers tend to be meticulous. That is true. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter, that is true. Uh, also, Indio's like two, three hours from L.A., not an hour, so oh, a little different. Yeah, that's, that's another hour of you explaining what the songs are on your phone. So just, to just a quick recap for him. Go yeah. thing. I'll, I'll, I'll say them very quick. You have to be a female between 19 and 25. So yes, he's looking for young. Mm -hmm. uh, comfortable traveling in a recreational vehicle. Must have fashionable sense of style, as I explained. Uh, be nice if you had a playlist of various Coachella artists. You can teach him, probably, is what we've discovered that is. Keep your hands and feet moisturized. Be open-minded and optimistic. <laughs> uh, be okay with some, some hand-holding during sensual songs and while walking into the festival. Fingernails and toenails kept together. He'll bring the jerky, the peanut butter. If you have some other, from Pringles, fantastic. <laughs> and then you could be social, but no. Uh, Can you imagine? He is God. so anal and meticulous. Like it would be so stressful to give him a blowjob because if it weren't done exactly the way he wanted. I to. said small amount of handwork on the ball sack. Yeah. You were Not supposed to over... lick the tip first yeah. and then work down yeah. the shaft. Two fingers twist. Two fingers plant. <laughs> it's like shooting pool. Right. This line <laughs> that really freaks me out. Where they shaking the swirl in the hole, yeah. whatever. Um, so now is where this guy really comes comes, starts to unravel. 
Oh, wait, this is not Unravel yet. There's we're, ten we're, more. Not in, we're not in Crazy Town yet? Oh, There's ten Paul. more criteria. Now the, Paul, get on the highway and strap in, because we're going <laughs> right to Crazy Town. <laughs> Number 11 kicks it off real crazy. Periodic moments of extended <laughs> eye contact. You're so. asking somebody for that, to make... To make Jay? future plans to make deep eye contact maybe he's, with you. Maybe he's an eye doctor. Jay, make peri- hold on, stop. I want a moment of period. Ready? Can we do a periodic moment? They of- don't even understand mind? what the hell this girl's talk. <laughs> we nailed it. It does create a moment. It does. I it was nice. Ah, oh, well, number twelve is a real moment. Jay, what is it? Oh my lord! <laughs> and I and almost like this guy disclaimers like for illegal reasons. I would assume number twelve is. Allow me to brush your hair once per day. <laughs> Parentheses, not mandatory, but encouraged. <laughs> Which means Which you, means you got to fucking yeah. do it. So if, you don't, passive- if you don't let him do it, he's not going to boot you out of the old Tropic uh, Thunder Lodge. But- no, I think he's sucking you in to see, like he's saying, oh no, I'm kind of cool with it. So once she, when she gets in, into it... He's going to, that goes away. He's going to be like, fuck you, you fucking do. But you said it's not mandatory. I don't give a fuck what I said. You're in my camper now. (laughs) Just laughing crazy with with a hair, with two hairbrushes. (laughs) This belonged to my Agnes. She's gone now. She's gone. Uh, Um, That's pretty crazy. And then um, 13. What get what? Get, how do you get off brushing somebody's hair? Sorry, I'm just like, um, what's what is? Depends on how they keep their hair. Could smell good. I mean, it soft. seems like a very yeah, like combing. It's it's a pretty odd thing for a dude to be wearing. It's into. very odd, kind of just petting. It's very very odd. That's, Especially I, with, that so that strikes me weirder than being saying I'm in the feet. I'm not in the feet at all. But if, if but what if her hair was long and it's got a lot of tangles, he might snap. What if she's got a short? Uh, oh, spiky fuck. hair. That's, That's why the whole the whole time sort of going. Yeah. Yeah. How? He goes, oh Shut God! Up. Please. Do you have any kind of like maybe like a like and an ar- like an argan oil? As he's doing it, he goes. Oh, you just tender headed. What if it's <laughs> a black chick with like a seventies yeah. fro? And he's like, don't pick. touch. He goes, I want. I would, is it all right if I touch your hair? Oh hell no. Okay. Well, it's it's not. Me. I did my nails, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, motherfucker. I got my I feet moisturized. moisturized. My feet. <laughs> yeah. And I love peanut butter. So let's hit the road. I'm, I'm trying to see. I moisturize both my foot. <laughs> I'm trying to see Kendrick Lamar. Get the fuck on the I'm road. I'm trying to watch Kendrick Lamar, man, with your old ass. <laughs> with your old ass. Walking around with a 56-year-old motherfucking divorcee. Yeah, white-ass motherfucker. Shut up, Gordon. White-ass motherfucker. Shut up, Gordon. Go sleep in. Go get back on your camper coffin. <laughs> <laughs> camper <laughs> coffin. Number 12 is... Get with me, Nosferatu. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't nothing but the devil. <laughs> number 13 is weird because number 12 is so strange that number 13 is kind of mean. It says, must not be into drugs. Drugs, pot okay. Oh. Now, here's the oh, thing. It's Jeff Sessions. You want yeah. to find a 19 to 25 year old, right? And you want her to be okay with everything up to 13. Mm hmm. And not and have her be not in the drugs. No, I mean only a drug addict is <laughs> kind of say is, 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 is even cool. is having is even read still considering it to thirteen. Oh right. my God! Yeah, any girl, time, every time he writes something, like every time day. he writes something weird, she goes, she goes, I'll just drop some ass yeah. or something. Or It'll be cool. Fucking. No, seriously, Rebecca, I'm gonna meet you guys down there. I'm gonna let the guy comb my hair. I'm gonna be all fucked up. On I mean, Molly. look at that. She goes, goes, yeah, if I'm all fucked up on Molly, he goes, he goes, he'll come. He goes, I mean, it might be kind of probably feel nice. I'll be all whacked out on Molly. Goes, then the next thing is like. By uh, the way, you have to look me in the eye stone sober while this happens. Right. It'd yeah. be awesome if she fucking he catches her like fucking doing Molly. Yeah. And he fucking just You didn't read thirteen, <laughs> did you? You're out. You signed a contract. You signed Wait, the- I'll let you brush my hair. Yes. I'll okay. let you brush my bush, okay, please. I'm <laughs> Oh, okay. There it is. Go make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> no jelly. No je- Oh, it's got to be pe- just straight peanut up peanut butter. Oh, is that it? That's how crazy it was to me. Was it crust on or crust off? <laughs> I'm assuming it's crust off. Yeah. I yeah oh, yeah. It's got to be probably yeah. cut. He gives cubes. the crust to like his. Like he has a weird like animal in his house. He has a he lizard or an it. iguana. Yeah, the iguana needs the crust. <laughs> he goes. His grandmother chained to a furnace. That's that's Mark, my iguana. I gave him a real person's name because I treat him like a real yeah. person. I, I love this. Sometimes uh, he talks to me at Christmas. 14. Oh, shit. We have such a limited time. We got to get yeah. through these. 14 is must take a minimum of four photos of us together and post them on your inst- 
Instagram account. I believe spelled Instagram wrong. Yeah, he spelled yeah. it Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Instagram. And you must call it Instagram. You can't say Instagram. I don't know. Right. You do it on there. Whatever it is, you do it on, the, on, the, on, the, on the machine. What's, What's the, the box? box? <laughs> you know, you, you What's put... the box with the with the thing? And there's like little, there's a, a computer. <laughs> yeah. You've got the computer thing. Uh, over there. Some... Don't you kids and all the things computers yeah. now. I want send, the bread hot. Send it, Send your twats to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> you got your social medias and you run around with the phone all day with the kids with the phones. The face, the face, Facebook thing. Dude, I mean, we got three minutes. There's no way we're going to get through, through the other five of these. Oh. It's get so fucking weird. I it's know. So, I mean, we, I, we, we have we to save them. To, we have to come back to it. Why don't you have callers on the next show call in with, uh, to add to it? Like, yeah. add to the fucking <laughs> list. Well, I would also want to find out, that for Wednesday's episode, we need to find out if there's been any women who have done this for men. I will look. And then Jay and I never got to uh, female bodybuilders. Yeah, maybe we should also just find... Uh, yeah, we'll get to that also. We have to write that down. Can I, just, I, think we'll get can to I that. bring in a bunch of Craigslist posts? Yes! <laughs> I was going to say, but just Craigslist posts for women looking like the most women will go to look for men. I mean, this is... The yeah, depths. Because this, this is, is the depths of what a guy is looking for a woman. Yeah. But I would like to find if there's a woman who's like like an ad on you know Craigslist. And not a fake one, like a real one that's like the man must be... He must be bathed. And shaved. I love the thing of Craigslist where it's like you just take a shot at like offering the most bizarre things. I've seen things on Craigslist like just yeah. dicking around through it, where it's like a Herschel guy... Walker rookie card. If no. I could take a shit on your chest. <laughs> no, not even that. Like not, not even like the weird thing for the weird thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like uh, like man here to clean a older woman's house. We'll do it with my dick out, open to, like eating pussy and all. And you're just like. Does anyone respond? To it? But it's like he yeah. just like, there is. Oh, there's somebody there. respond totally. I yeah, mean, you, 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 there's something out there for everybody, yeah. and it's always the person you don't expect. Is anything on? Is anything on social media like Facebook? Is, has any? Uh, has anybody like the responded Instagram? To social, uh, this the, Insta the Instagram. Insta 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 this got picked up by Perez Hilton. It got picked up yeah. by Salon. I think uh, this was like a thing. We were reading. It might be picked up by. Uh, it looks like Funnier Funny die. die might Funny be doing die. a thing. Actually, going with him to Coachella now to like. Can you imagine that this guy served people soup. He touched oh, their yeah. he I read that, fucking, though. I read the funnier die thing, and it looked like it, that's what the article said, but then it didn't say anything about that actually happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not a soup thing in here. Like, Christine, you know. by the way, loves soup plant plantation. No bullshit. Love Her it. favorite soup there, old man chowder. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh, by the way, the spots became a trend. So Lulu V sent hers, and then Zach Amico sent his. Oh, Zach Amico's <laughs> spots are so nice. Zach's blotchy. I think he just wanted to be triplets with the other two. Yeah. Oh, I like Zach. Nice. That Budweiser tank's fucking killer. <laughs> I'm trying to bear my soul about a uh, possible life threatening it's, disease I have. But it's, I got to tell you, that sort of, you got to stay moist. Is the one that jumps out at me. I think it's like, something we've all learned here today, Paul. That we all need to keep our. You no, know, I was in just in Canada and I'm very dry. Maybe See? I'm sensitive to it. Uh, you learn something. Well, That's what happens when you come. You're not going to get arrived, this motherfucker, with those crackly hands. <laughs> no, nope. but you know what you can do is you can see Paul at the Punchline in San Francisco this Thursday through Saturday, and then catch him in Royal Oak, Michigan, at the Comedy Castle, April 13th through 15th. Get tickets at paulmercurio.com. Paul's a fucking hilarious guy, man. He plays with the crowd a lot too. All the shows are different. So, so make check sure you out, man. Really fun. San nice Frank, man. come out. And then Big J going to be at Caroline's this Thursday through Sunday. So make sure you get your tickets at BigJComedy.com if you're in the tri-state area. I'll be there on Thursday. Louis, Dave, Fenoya, everyone's going to be around this weekend. Sal's hanging out. Sal's going to be hanging out. I think Sal's coming Thursday also. Maybe a Ron Bennington can hang. Maybe might a Ronnie be B hang. So make sure. And then big news, uh, April 6th, you can binge watch all 10 episodes of What's Your Fucking Deal on CISO, the Big J Okerson crowd work show. Make sure you check that out. All 10 episodes are going to be released at the same time. So make sure you go and uh, watch that. But last and certainly not least, Dan Soder is going to be performing. Uh, at the comedy mix in Vancouver, Canada. Thursday, April 6th through Saturday, April 8th. If you want tickets, you can just go check out his newfangled fancy website. Bring your hair. He'll brush it. Called dansoder.com. Moisturize. Moisturize because... so sweet yeah, to me. Yeah. Paul, thanks for hanging out. We'll yeah, catch y'all on Wednesday. We'll see y'all Wednesday. Bye. Crackle, crackle, motherfuckers.